Jane, come on out of here. Come, well, let's tell these people what we're going to do. Oh, I'm just taking all the hats. Oh, the hats that didn't work. <laughs> that is a hat. That was one of our first hats, just to kind of try it out, you know. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go over to a local sawmill. We could take a standing dead coconut, but these, these guys could just saw it up in like 10 seconds. So yeah. we're just going to go over there now. Yeah. And we're going to start bees on the side. Now, the bees are probably, it's like, you know, that movie when you're like, you build it and they will come. You know? What's you know that movie? No. You know that guy? Uh, <laughs> you know the guy who builds like a big huge, uh, he builds like a, a, a baseball stadium and all those ghosts from the past come and really famous people. Oh, right. It's like that, we're going to make a hotel for our bees. Mm -hmm. So we're going to make three hives? Yeah, and then we've got to work out the pond around it so the ants don't come. That's another thing we have to figure out as well. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Let's do this thing. Okay, okay, let's do this right. thing, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, one thing I wanted to show you guys at home is this massive colony. It's up there in the trees. Just check them out. Just hanging off a coconut tree. Just brilliant. Now they won't go into our beehives. It's, uh, they just do one comb and then they just hang there. This is the back road to the farm. This is the way we always go every day, twice a day. It's a bit of a dangerous road, but we'll be all right. By the way, that's the temple, the local temple that's always a uh, chance in my videos, just so you know. What, oh, Jane? Yeah. What are you saying? The architecture is it's like... Oh, yeah. 60s. Some nice houses yeah. around as well. Yeah. So there's a sawmill. It's literally just one or two minutes away from us, so... There we are now. Let's see if they allow us to film. Ah, there's a big bus. So yeah, basically they said, no, today is no good. We'll go back Monday afternoon. They guaranteed us that's when we can do it. So I'll see you in a sec. And I hope we can film. They, I think they didn't like the camera, so that's fair enough, you know. All right, so we're here now in the shady spot. We call it the shady spot. All the good stuff is growing. And um, we decided, what do you think, Jane? Here's a good kind of spot to put the bees. All right, so here we have uh, <laughs> actually some turmeric or ginger, wild ginger. We're going to replant that. And um, it's just growing all over the place as well. Check out this owl just come visiting the garden as well. Wow, look at him. It's a very small one. Anybody know what it is? And there, I don't know if you can see it, we have some kind of white headed eagle making some funny noise. That was my attempt at actually communication, and he's just basically ignoring me. So it's two days later, we had lots of other stuff happening as well and we just got back to it. Basically, one thing that actually really happened was that we tried to make two ponds. We lined it with plastic. Uh, this is of course to make our beehives and coops because once there's honey and bees actually, once we actually capture some bees, which is another story, we'll get to that. Um, of course, there'll be lots and lots of honey and the ants will just go crazy for it. So we have to protect them with some kind of a water uh, barrier. So we had ponds. And what happened, Jane? Oh, the water leaked out. Yeah, so there was actually holes in the plastic. Right, the winner of 2016 <laughs> digging competition, Dave versus <laughs> Kerala Ho. <laughs> It's me! <laughs> she won definitely. That's one. Okay, so what we're doing now is we're setting up a new... With, you know that guy who invented the light bulb? Now he did it a thousand times before he found something that actually worked. And that's how we are. We like to keep trying. Because if something doesn't work, just keep doing it. And eventually you'll come up with something that actually works. Jeeves, I'm sweating. How do you manage not to sweat? I guess I, you've I been here longer than 
Okay. How long have you been here? <laughs> I've been here about nine years. Nine years. I, I don't know. Time from Devon. I don't know how she does it. I'm sweating <laughs> like crazy. My wife's the same. We're just like <laughs> melting away here, you know? So we've just put a standing block, two standing blocks into our containers and we could chop the containers. Look, Jane. We could cut them down lower, but we want them nice and high because, of course, more water is going to be in there, which means it evaporates oh, yeah. slower. Especially. Yeah, especially in this climate. Okay, <laughs> this is me teaching Jane how to half a block. Right. And you at home as well, in case you don't know it. Place your block down like that and just tap it in the middle. And then you just go all the way around. So you're doing it with the edge of the hammer. And if you're not videoing, what will happen is when you hit that, it'll just split in the middle. Uh -huh. And it did! Perfect! Voila! That's it. Right, so we decided, because the, the one that I just split in half was too small, so we just split off a little bit. And now we can actually place a full one on top of that because it will clear the, the bin. Okay, so we'll work away for another little while. We'll see you in a sec. There we go. Go there. That's good. We can put a few in here. One in there. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah, please! Here we go. Now, typically, this, this water should stay in there for about three weeks in the tropics much longer if you're anywhere else and it's only like in certain areas that ants are actually a problem in Ireland we had ants but there wasn't enough of them to be any kind of problem to cause any kind of problem or any kind of damage so there's one I'm done okay James hi All right, that's it. We'll see if we're allowed to film over. Otherwise, I'll talk to you guys in a minute. All right, I'm in the garden waiting on Jane. Jane is actually on her way. It's Monday afternoon. The guy was supposed to cut the logs on Wednesday, but he basically did it for us on Friday. And then Jane and myself decided we're going to um, do the chiseling out and building everything then today and tomorrow. And then basically just show you how to do that and what, just hanging out with us. Uh, why we're doing that as well. All right, let's have a look at the actual ant proofing, see if the water has remained inside as well. Look at that mama. It's gonna be great. If nobody nicks it, we're gonna have some amazing seeds of this one. Anyway, let's go and have a look at the water. Now I had a peek. I know it's worked. I mean, I've seen it working. So, and we haven't filled this up. It's been bone, just look at this, look. It's been bone dry for the last six days or so. And basically I must have filled it up to here. So it's dropped about an inch, maybe about an inch uh, in the last six days. So if it doesn't rain, it's gonna take a month for that water to drop, which is perfectly fine. Um, if I have to fill it once a month, if there's no rain whatsoever, then I'm happy with that. So this is the second one and that's worked out really well as well. Now I wanted to mention as well my Patreon page. Now we're getting very organized, we're getting more and more done. Um, this project is start, it's in its infant stages, but it's getting, it's starting to get there, you know, if you know what I mean. Um, it's starting to take shape. If you want to help support this project, then by all means, the price of a coffee, that's what I'm asking. It's not much, just take a few moments and donate. Go to work with, no, go to Patreon, uh, I'll just put the link in the description and you can just go there and just read the blurb, watch the video, uh, all that kind of stuff. And I'm also now giving away uh, some rewards. I was going to give away seeds, but then I thought, no, there'll be no use to my viewers because most of them are actually, you basically, uh, are from either US or uh, Europe, Australia, that kind of direction. And some of you from all over the world as well. But it wouldn't really make sense to give you Indian seeds. That's basically what I'm trying to say. So I help support make this project work. We're counting on you. One dollar. We can all afford a dollar. There they are. Our beautiful logs. Basically all cut up perfectly. And we could have just done that with an axe and all this kind of stuff. 
but just let's make life a little bit easy on ourselves as well. This is the floor, this is gonna be the top, and just hang out with us further and watch us make them because it's gonna be a little bit of fun. Uh, we're also gonna make a special entrance as well that'll help them. And next to the skep, this is just the way to go if you want something simple. And it's actually waterproof as well, so in a way it's better than the skep. Yep, you guessed it. Sharpening a chisel, waiting for our good old friend, Jane. But she did ask me to not start without her because she really wanted to see how to do this. And of course I'm gonna be obliged to that. <laughs> All right, so Jane's chopping away. And I was chiseling away, and within one minute, and I really literally just went a little bit like this, didn't the tip just break off? I mean, that's the problem what we face here. Cheap tools. You can't get good tools in India, and I don't know why. One minute. Uh, it lasted an entire <laughs> one minute. It took me longer to sharpen the damn thing. Look at this. I mean, it's a waste of... If you're making this and selling it, it's a waste because it's just going to break and then you've made all this for nothing. <laughs> what a rant! <laughs> I'm just really annoyed! Angry of Kerala! <laughs> <laughs> look at what these guys have brought us. Oh, oh look at us! Wow! My name is Amrita. And your name? My name is Jodi. Ah, you're the sisters of Denver. Yeah, my sisters do this. You can eat this also. And yeah, yeah. So do, do people want to try it at home? <laughs> yeah, at home. All right, so what we're going to do now is since our chisel is broke, we're just going to make a line here, but that far away, and a line here, but that far away. Chisel that section out, and just chisel out that section. That's the hardwood, that's the softwood here. So that will become our wall we might make it nice and thick because it's quite soft actually what i'm finding now as well just to to show you if i'm going like this i'm just going with the grain it seems to be working much easier when i'm actually going across the grain so i'm just really chopping up way more look jane look oh yeah it's going way faster wow so that's good to know yeah that's great. that's quick no yeah. We'll be done in 20 minutes if we carry on like that. And if, you, if you see that string, we actually had to use half of it and that's why we redid it. And if you remember, that was the wobbly handle in one of my videos. So, and it worked out good. So this, this way and then just cut across. Yeah, even across it seems to be working way better. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I didn't There's our neighbours. <laughs> Say hi to YouTube. <laughs> it did get a little bit harder towards this hardwood section here, but um, in general, what is it, about 10 minutes later? Yeah. So, but you know, we can only finish one today. I think we'll just do one a day, otherwise after a while you are. I think you risk You know, you risk get a little bit. Sure. Yeah. If you're doing this for the European honeybee, and in India you can get Italian bees, then you would of course use uh, the base of a coconut, which is really, really, really wide and you make it a little bit longer and you have just the perfect size for the Italian bee as well. There we go. Have you got the sort of machete hollowing out beehive song that goes <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Sitting on a wall doing bugger all waiting for the bees to fly by and a flutter by fly by oh beehive Oh, behind, behind, behind. I think it's copyrighted, isn't it? <laughs> Will that sting or something? <laughs> All right. Sting. Getting a little bit hungry, actually. Get some grub now. I have an egg. I brought an egg, so I'm going to eat that now. Good one this time, huh? Yeah. We've got that with. So we need to go to here. And we need to make four bee spaces, the width of what four bees would manage, and we want to make it nice and wide at the at the front. So we want to go a little bit further pa past that. What that means is that all the bees in here can guard this area because it's funnel shaped, so they can land here really well, but when they get closer, they get a little bit congested and the guard bees here can just guard against uh, hornets and different things like that. They can come down from here, wow. they can come from here, from here, from here, from here. We could even make another thing that is exactly the same shape here and then you'd have two bee spaces. That means that bees coming up here 
walking in there or they could walk in here and they would just be walking in upside down here and upside down here and could walk in like that during the high swarming season. That's what we'll actually end up doing. But we want a, a narrow gap here so that they can guard it really well, you know? So let me just do that and then I'll show you the finished version. <laughs> Right, that's it for this evening, because it's getting late. So basically, this then is of course the entrance. So they're just climbing there, climbing there. This is the actual floor. We're gonna tie it together with some rope to hold it together. But just to show you, this then is going to be the way they can come in like that. When we've chiseled this out a bit more, we, we'll be able to take the honey from, because they're gonna put their nest roughly in the center and then the honey will be on either side of the actual nest because with bees it's always like this that there's a, a nest it could be here it could be there and they will always surround the nest with honey so when they have more than they need they start putting storing the honey on either side you know so but we need to chisel out more as well it is tuesday and we are back here and we're just chopping away Tuesday afternoon, well towards the evening time. What? Four o'clock now? Yeah, that's four. Four o'clock. Yeah. <laughs> hey Janie! <laughs> Go on, show us the high thing! <laughs> you know the hokey pokey? If you're happy and you know it, stamp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, stamp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, then you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands and stamp your feet. <laughs> right, that is our sunflower harvest. That's what it looks like. And that's the seeds. All those sunflower seeds are going to be for growing. So we're going to do a germination test. Now I've noticed that there's some purple mixed in with the white ones. So obviously there was a cross in there before we got the seeds because you know we don't have any sunflowers here and this is the first year I'm actually growing this variety and I got the seeds from Germany. So that's cool because that can work in our favor. Um, I did pollinate them all so I would have taken a cloth and pollinated went around like that, pollinated, pollinated, so I probably crossed the purple now into the white anyway. So that's, that's interesting. We'll see what happens. There we go. Now we should be able to put at least four here. So in the middle and then we not, like some people put actually beehives in a pond, you know, on top of the thing like that, but make a concrete pond. And with this you can actually just reach it nicely. Wow. This is lemongrass, so we'll just take a few sprigs, now you can use essential oil as well and we're going to rub this on to the wood. Simple reason being it's the same kind of smell as the pheromone that the bees give off in order to cluster. So when they, this will attract the scout bees to check out the hive, wow. right, they'll smell it and then they'll start going into this entrance. So we'll put a little bit here on the entrance as well. Oh wow, smell that, it's Jane. Huh? Yeah, oh, that's lovely. So that's exactly what you want. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is the finish of the video. It was a long <laughs> video. And basically what we're gonna do is we're just putting a bit of wood like that, like that, and then it's a good idea. It was a very funny joke, but we won't tell you. <laughs> So what you can do is you can do like sets of two, so two here and two there, or you could also do like four together, but then have the entrances staggered. So this one here, the next log would be here, so the entrance would be there, and vice versa. Um, so if you have sets of two, it means that you could take a, an empty one, place it next to a full one, and then you would put the uh, honeycomb with a, a queen cell into that, and then you swap them around the full one with the empty one, and then the full the, the bees from the full colony would actually go into the empty uh, hive and you would start a new colony that way. That's one way of doing it as well. And yes, that's pretty much it, huh? We have nothing more to say. Oh yeah, check out the Patreon page as well. Link in the description. Help us out as well. And you'll be seeing more of this kind of stuff as well. 
That's it. Thanks, Jane. <laughs> You're welcome. It's been fun, no? We've, we've got it done anyway. Yeah, lovely. Huh? Yeah, so now the great. bees, we build it, and surely now they will come.